Hey everybody, Wade here. Going to do an EDC video today. Um, been a couple of years since I started doing videos again. Last one last week or so was my first one in a couple of years. So I'm going to update. Ain't much changed. I'm uh, pretty. When I find something that works, I stick with it. Uh, going to start off here. Uh, I love a. I'm a knife guy. Everybody knows that. Uh, but I'm a sheath knife or fixed blade knife more than I am a pocket guy. I'll carry a pocket knife, but when I want some serious, you know, do something with, I carry something like this, little three, four inch blade uh, fixed blade. Uh, and I got sharp. I'm going to polish that grind line out of that. But uh, I've been trying this out. I just got it about a week, maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, about two weeks ago. I'm just trying it out for fun. Uh, I'm not really liking it, but I'm going to give it a due diligence. I want a bigger guard. Uh, I don't want nothing to slip over and cut myself. But it's good for what I use it for now. You know, it's the last ditch, you know, or whatever I need to grab quicker. It rides with a utility clip. Um, right to my le on my left side, uh, on that outside belt loop. We, and it comes up this way, so when I grab it, it's the cutting edge is up. But that's it. I think it hide what's it called? A uh, yeah, or orca. Anyway, I got it on Amazon. That's where I get a lot of stuff. It's carbon steel. I like carbon steel. It's old fashioned, I know, but it's quick and easy to sharpen. And if, as long as you put a little oil on them, they'll last forever. Uh, that's that. My sheath knife. I also carry. A, well, that I carry two utility blades. This is one I'm really liking. I bought this. Uh, Oh, shoot, over a month ago. And it's called a Good Edge Onyx Light. Three, this is 3.0. They got 3.5. This costs 30 bucks. You get the knife and three blades. What do I mean when you get three blades? The blades are interchangeable. You press this little button on the side and swap out your blades. And these things come razor sharp, buddy. I ain't kidding you. If you ain't careful, you can slice yourself with these things. And a heartbeat. I gave it to my wife the other day to slice open my box. And they hold the edge pretty good, pretty good. Uh, you know, for this, and you can resharpen them. But uh, she scared her. She said, here, keep this. But it's a uh, good edge. It's on Amazon. Uh, out, excuse me, outdoor edge, not good edge. It's outdoor edge. Uh, they got this model, which is Onyx Light. It's for $30. Like I said, you get the, this and three. Replaceable blades, you can buy up to nine, I think it's nine, replace, uh, pack of nine replaceable blades for the three inch. And they got one that's three and a half. The three and a half one is 70 bucks. I didn't see paying a whole another 30 bucks for a half inch more blade. When, you know, this is a, and then they got two or three others. They got a flay knife and everything else. All of them work on the concept of swapping out the blades. I know how to sharpen a knife, so I, I'm just doing this to look neat, and I decided to get it. But that's the uh, Outdoor Edge 3-inch Onyx Light. I carry that, you know, for, and it's a lot back. It's, you press that down right there. And uh, it comes out, you can come out real quick. But I better tell you what, you better not slip your thumb down. <laughs> You'll need a band-aid. <laughs> uh, and I still carry, now look, I'm a knife guy, I like it. And I like gadgets. That's another thing. This is the Work Pro utility knife. These things, look how shiny it is. You get a pack of three for ten bucks. And it's real easy. I mean, it's a uh, little, you, you know, normal utility blade uh, that you can swap out. And um, like I said, three for ten bucks. And it's all stainless steel. It's lock. It's got a liner lock on it. And, a, and a, uh, that you just press it and close it. If I get my fingers working right, press in and close it. And it's got a pocket clip. You can carry it in your pocket. But, you know, right on the edge of your pocket. Get it out quick, fast, in a hurry if you need to. Uh, but I like these things. I like this little thing. That blade comes, I always wanted to put a lanyard on it. Because of my big hands. and uh, I like to put a lanyard on but it's just about two. The blade comes back. It'd be slicing into the lanyard. Uh, but it's a good thing. Work Pro on Amazon. I try to remember to put the 
links to all this stuff below. But that's the end of the knives. Wait a minute, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I also carry this is my old shit knives. <laughs> if I have to grab a knife at the last thing, it's old shit time. Uh, this is uh, cold steel. They call it uh, what they call it. Made high carbon steel. It's uh, the boot knife, basically. Uh, I need to trim that off. I just rewrapped the handle. Uh, the, you know, uh, this is my uh, kind of halfway survival knife or halfway. Of, I know it's got the wrong kind of blade, but I like a dagger point. I can put it on the end of a stick and poke something with it. Uh, it's got uh, recesses here in the handle. You can't see it because I got it wrapped. But inside, pressed, well, inside I got, I think I got 30 feet of five pound, uh, 30 pound test, uh, four or five fish hooks, some lead shot weights on one side. On the other side, I got a fire starter, you know, a fair seam rod. And uh, so I got duct tape holding all that down. And, uh, of course, a paracord on it I could use for something. And I got orange duct tape in case I need to signal somebody or mark trails where somebody can find it or something. Whatever. I got to cut that little tag off. Tag off. Anyway. But uh, I wear this on the lanyard around my neck. And like I said. Anyway. I ain't going to pull it out. I'll put it right there for right now. Anyway. That's that. It's, like I say, it's kind of a half-ass survival knife. Uh, in case I ever get stuck somewhere with... I don't, I'm in my shop now, you can see, and I go from here to my house next door <laughs> and to the bakery in town. It's five miles, not quite five miles away. I can walk home in about 45 minutes, you know, if I'm, I'm in a hurry. An hour and a half. <laughs> uh, plus, I got, you know, I got kinfolk spread out so far. I mean, I can't throw a stick without hitting kinfolk up here. And that's the way I like it. Anyway, that's it. Cold Steel Drop Forge. That's the name of it. Now, Drop Forge Boot Knife. Drop Forge Boot Knife. I think I paid 30 bucks for it. Like I said, it's high, I like hard carbon steel. It's sharp. And it's got a good pointy, sticky end on it. Okay. Add that one. Comes in a um, kydex sheath. Uh, coming down to the... Uh, the basic stuff, you know, I carry a, a uh, my phone's over there, I ain't gonna get some Motorola, uh, G7 Play, um, it's got Alexa and all that stuff built into it, uh, and I use Google more than I do Alexa, uh, but, uh, you know, all this, it's just a phone, a phone, everybody's got a phone, ain't no need to show on the phone, um, uh, there's my wallet, it's um, hide and wine. I don't know why they got that name, but that's it. That's the maker of the knife. It's just a simple. It's a flap of leather with elastic sheath around it. A, a you know leather band with a elastic in it that you can replace if you need to. It's got a lifetime warranty on it. If you wear, when you wear out the band, you call them, or and they'll send you a new little band to put on it. And uh, it holds up to 20 cards. And I've thinned mine down a lot. Uh, I got business count cards and all this stuff in there. And that's and of course my shit I got insurance cards out the yin yang and uh, carried a little cash and a little uh, my debit card on the other side but it's good I paid like 10 bucks for this it's on Amazon love Amazon um, and I'm getting to where I like Walmart because I ain't got to go in no more I'll order what I want and have them bring it out to my car I ain't got to go in Walmart save me money I don't go in there and buy a ton of shit that I don't need and, you know uh, but I digress. Uh, this little thing is my Bluetooth, uh, earbud thing. I got the charger and the, and the unit. It's a little bit old thing, just a little earbud thing. Wireless Bluetooth that you stick in your ear and I can talk and people say it, they sound good and everything. And I like it because, you know, I'm an old 10 and 2 guy. I like old ambulance driver, police car driver, fire truck driver, medic, or well, you name it. Anything that had fast wheels on it, I drove it. Uh, and I like, I'm just a habit. I got 10 and 2 all the time. But, um, 
That's good. I paid, I think, around 29 I think, $30 for this. It's good. I like it. Um, Bomi was saying something a couple of weeks ago about a solar charger. I got this one on Amazon. It's, it's uh, it doesn't say the brand name of it. It just says solar charger on it. But it, it, I, I cost right 30 bucks, prime delivery, free delivery. It's got 30 microamps or milliamps or however they charge it, uh, 30,000 uh, milliamps on it. It's got the flashlight on front. Uh, it, it's, uh, got two charging ports, if I can get it open, two charging ports, if you can see that, two charging ports and that little micro, uh, USB in the middle of it is, uh, for where you charge it, uh, and it, uh, this, with the, just this alone, if you didn't depleted it. This loan is 3.5 um, DC volts, and if you still got if you got a charge in it, it's five. It'll charge up a phone quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, and you, I've charged like four, almost five times, fully charged. Last charge I got was um, like 89 percent on the fifth one. That's all it had in it, <coughs> and I did that just to see how long it lasts. And it holds a charge for a while. I checked it today before I made this video, and it is still fully charged. And it's been almost three weeks since I charged it up. Uh, I check them every two weeks at a, at a minimum. Uh, bright light too, and really nice. Speaking of light, I'll put the, like I said, I'm gonna put the, the things on Amazon. The links below. It'll be, it's got a compass on it too. Uh, Got a little thing you hang it on. If you're out in the woods, you can hang it on your pack as you're walking and charge it up. You know, I just, I like, I use a lot of electronics. <laughs> um, light. This is my ADC light. I got several flashlights. I got a couple of headlights. I bought this at Harbor Freight. Uh, they just come out with this last month or around, oh, right before Christmas or Christmas time. It's a 140 lumen. Right behind you, behind you. Uh, pin light. The trick about it, and it's got a high and low setting. I don't want all that other crap. I just want a high, low, whatever. The trick about it, you push this down. It, it's a USB, micro USB charger. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. Slide this collar up and down. And, it, and it's got a, hey, you might see it. It's got a, a little micro USB port. Um. I have yet to use, I have yet, I got it right before Christmas, I'm, well, my son and I were walking in Harbor Freight the other day, uh, <coughs> he gets there, he's a professional mechanic, and he uh, broke one of their sockets that he was using, and we took it back up there, gave him a brand new one, and he said that <laughs> he was using a one inch impact, <laughs> one inch impact driver, on a three-quarter, no, half-inch, half-inch socket, and it broke the collar out of it, you know, uh, but he took it up out there, and that's quite here, boom, uh, anyway, sound like a daddy, anyway, uh, that's a nice little light, I mean, it, it, it don't weigh hardly nothing, got a nice bright light, uh, got a pocket clip, stays right here in your pocket when you do that, uh, I enjoy it, and it's, I, I'm a, I'm, <laughs> I got a thing for flashlights, guns, uh, bags, uh, knives, <laughs> the list is endless, um, skulls, <laughs> anyway, and I'm sorry, that's my heater come on, it's a little bit chilly out here, it's, uh, this is early morning, I get, when I get up, I say early morning, it's 3, 3.40 a.m., so early morning. Uh, I get up at 3 o'clock every day. It's just a habit I built into it. Anyway, I like this thing. I'll put my thing up. Uh, the next thing I got for Christmas as a stocking stuffer, uh, my oldest daughter got me this. She's
she said when she seen it, uh, she said that's daddy. And um, she got it for me. Is this right here? Now this is 375 H and H, H, and H Magnum. Uh, it looks like you know, unfired, but it's a pin. <laughs> I, I like that shit right there. It's a Fisher space pin. Uh, take it apart just like I did, and you shove it back in up in here, and you got a full side writing pin. You know, it just looks like a bullet. Uh, neat as hell. I like it. it. You know, and I like a Fisher pin because you ain't got to worry about uh, scratching it to get to write it. First time, every time. Uh, it goes and it right and it writes real good. I uh, carry another one, another Fisher pin, but the regular kind in my bag. I'm fixing to show you. Uh, all that stuff except my wallet, the pen, well, the knives and everything. This and the the pouch with my earbud and everything in it. All goes in this bag, which is uh, catch all. I, I got a Kindle reader in here, an uh, eight inch Kindle reader that you know I read. St I, I'm all the time trying to read stuff, anything. I uh, play a couple of games and. Uh, Mostly solitaire stuff like that. I'm damn good at solitaire. I can see the pattern and boom, I'm gone. But uh, you know this this it all fits in here neatly. I got you know a spare mag for my my EDC pistol, uh, along with the spare mag that I carry on my hip. Uh, but uh, it's a spare mag charger for the for that um. Uh, for the for the uh, solar thing when I don't have sun, it's got a headlamp in there. Got a checkbook for my business, uh, just everything. But and it all it fits right there. And uh, I even got a. It's made to carry a pistol. It came with two of these. I call them hideaway holsters with a velcro on it. Yeah, uh, you pull it, or you can just grab it and pull it down. And I got a Glock, uh, not a Glock, uh, LCP2 in there. 380 caliber, and I got a couple of spare magazines in there. It's got six in the clip magazine. I don't know why I call it clip. Six in the magazine, and it's hollow points. One of the uh, P personal defense hollow points. Uh, but uh, and uh, I like this little thing. Carry on your shoulder, you can carry it by the strap. You know, it's good. Uh, like I say, I got knives on me all the time. Spare key, spare door key to shop. Um, a lighter for fire, in case I need fire. Anyway, that kind of thing. We're getting down to the end of this. We're getting down to the end of this. Hold on, hold on. This is my ADC pistol. Everybody knows I carry Glock 19 um, with accessories. <laughs> that's bummy about them accessories. Uh, I that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I got a the wolf barrel and I got uh, you know the, the threaded barrel. I got the go trigger there. It said it's a little bit, uh, right at three pounds with the trigger in it. Uh, and I got, it's got a hard ball in it and it's got one of the hollow points in it. Uh, I love this gun. I've gotten where I'm pretty, uh, about as good with it as I am with my other. This is, this, she rests during the weekend and I carry an old reliable. And a shoulder rig when I'm working around the house because I strap this down to my belt and it hangs right here in front of me. And it ain't under here. I got too far to reach nowadays. But uh, it uh, old tanker's holster. I love it. And it sits right there. Right there on there and prominent. <laughs> Everybody come to my house. <laughs> First time UPS gal come up here. She said, you expecting trouble? I said, why? You expecting to give me some? No, sir. No, sir. Anyway. And the male lady, <laughs> anyway, uh, but she got to know me up at the bakery. Everybody knows me, you know, didn't know me already. But uh, now I carry it in a verse carry. Uh, that a holster. I, Kydex is fine, but Kydex ain't my thing. I, I'm old school. I like leather. And it's, uh, I bought a total of about five or six of these. Seven. I bought seven of them because I bought. Four like this, and f two 
three inside the waistband ones that can go inside or outside the waistband. Uh, I got one of each, and I give the rest of them out as Christmas presents because we all carry Glocks. Uh, all the men folks in the family carry Glocks because they're, you know, that's what we shoot. It's all interchangeable. We can all exchange mags if we need to, and we all, you know, uniformity. Uh, this part, it sounds like a plan, but it, well, it is. Anyway, uh, that's what we carry. Uh, same thing, the little mag holder, same thing. It's got an adjustment on it, so you can tighten it up or loosen it, whatever you want. It hadn't dropped this thing, uh, this mag at all. And this, uh, rides on my, I put it in backwards. This rides on my, uh, uh, left hip, right in front of, the, right in front of the knife. Uh, kind of balances out the way, the, you know. Anyway, that's that. Uh, now, this is where some folks say we're going extreme weight. No, no, this is, we tell, remember this is a dual video. This is my EDC plus, it's kind of a response to what I grab, you know, the Abomi's channel, uh, Abomi's VR to me, uh, what I would grab if I could go out the door. I figured, I, shit, I didn't even do it. I just showed my stuff. But, uh, this is what I grab. Turn around so you can see. This has got my AR pistol in it. Uh, <coughs> It carries eight magazines on front. It carries an assembled, fully assembled AR pistol with a with a uh, seven inch barrel on it. You know, with a extendable uh, brace brace on it, and it's and it's also got thirty mag. 30, no, this one's now. I just shot it a little while ago. I got to clean it. Uh, it's got a ten round mag on it because I was uh, done shot bunch of mags that are still out there on the table it's you know not today yesterday they're in the house now I'm thinking yesterday anyway but it's got like I said eight magazines and then it, 30 round mags all of them I do have a couple of 10 round mags I just keep in it for the hell of it you know in case you know it's lighter if you're doing you know anyway it's lighter uh, but this Got this on Amazon too, twenty bucks. Now it is, and it, the the. Uh, let me get something to show you. Bear with me a second. Don't take but a second. It's got dual zippers and it's got a little thing for you to put luggage locks on it, like I do every trust one of them. Oh my god! Uh, but here you go. And you see that? Let me hold it. It's got in the holes. You know, it's got the straps to hold it down and everything. Uh, there it sits just like that, uh, and it's padded good. It ain't gonna hurt. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna get hurt in there. But twenty bucks. I mean, I, I ain't saying I'm cheap, but I'm frugal. <laughs> uh, my wife said, "What you say?" <laughs> anyway, uh, I like looking for bargains. I mean, uh, everybody said wage is cheap. And I said, "No." You ever see me? suffering from money and they shut the hell up you know I want anyway I ain't gonna get into all that I was raised poor and I don't throw money away put it that way Bomi I watched a Bomi video a little while ago uh, this is the uh, August I mean shit. February 2nd <laughs> boy almost made me spit my coffee out when he said uh, he's going to trade a Glock 19 for some uh, scotch. Boy. Anyway. Yeah, he's a nut, but we all love him. Uh, anyway. That's it. I got in that little bag. I got other flashlights and stuff. Backups to whatever I need. I uh, also got in my truck a uh, get-home bag. Uh, it's got uh, three days worth of food, uh, my medicine I need. Uh, it's got, uh, where's one, there's one. I keep, y'all may have seen these. I like the orange. 
A diabetic, we keep it. We drink a lot of water. I do, anyway. Uh, and uh, you can get these for 57 cents at Walmart. Uh, they got all kinds of different flavors. They got strawberry. I like the orange and the peach. And they got plain water, too. They got seven stuff that tastes like it's, carb it's carbonated. And it's 57 cents a piece. You get a uh, 33 ounces. No sugar, no calories, uh, no caffeine. I, you don't, I don't do caffeine too good. And uh, no sodium. That's a big part for me, no sodium. And it uh, has uh, no carbs. Uh, overall, uh, a whole bunch of zeros I'm looking at. Uh, does have 10... 10 uh, per, ca per container. How does it say no sodium? It's got 10 milligrams of sodium on the back of it. Well, that's still less than a damn uh, Mountain Dew I used to drink. It was like 360 milligrams. Uh, and then potassium. It's got 23 mi uh, milligrams. Uh, and potassium, anyway, I ain't going to get into all that stuff. When you get older, like me, potassium and sodium kind of need to be, or potassium really needs to be, I need to take it anyway. And, but I keep a couple, three of those in there, uh, in the bag, uh, some Cliff Bars, Vienna Sausage, and, uh, you know, stuff to get me home, like I said, but I can get home in half hour, four, I mean, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how, I'm go, which way I go and how fast I'm walking. And I ain't going to walk if I can help it. Uh, I also got a shotgun, a 12 gauge, old pump shotgun I picked up at a uh, pawn shop. Well, I brought it in, didn't I? I did. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Just hold it a minute. This is it. Old Revelation. Made by Seared and Robot back in the 70s. I bought this at a gun show. Uh, I don't know, a long time ago. Uh, I always put it, every time I get a shotgun, I put the extended magazine on it. And this was, like I said, it was a flea, mar well, flea market gun show. One of the, half a dozen of them, six of one. But it's, uh, it's a truck gun. It ain't got a whole lot of money in it. I ain't worried about it. You know, something happened to it. Uh, but, uh, this is along with my AR pistol. Uh, a fun gun. It, it, it shoots good. It ain't never had a lick of trouble out of it. I think I paid sixty dollars for this back several years ago. I can't remember. It's been it's been over thirty years. I know that. But uh, that's in my you know. And uh, I also got my medic bag. I'm an old medic. I got my medic bag in there. I don't have the medic stuff. Medic stuff in there. I can bandage you up and splint and immobilize and wake you up. You pass out and all that kind of stuff. I don't do drugs. I can't, you know, unless you're under medical control, you don't, you can't do drugs, carry drugs, uh, or IVs. And um, let's see, what else I got in the truck? I got blankets, a tarp, and, and I got PVC in the in the tool bed in back. Got PVC in the tool bed. I can make turn the back of that truck into a tent. I got an air mattress back there. I got a compressor to inflate the air mattress. I got an inverter that take, takes. Uh, you know, 12 volt turns it to 110. Uh, what else is in that truck? That's pretty much it, I think. Pretty much, pretty much. I always got a, I always got a, a get home bag. I always got food. I always got water. Uh, I got ammo. I got a. I ain't gonna pull it out. It's a 30 millimeter ammo case. You know, like the one they use on the uh, warthog. It's a big like. It's like just think. A 50 BMG ammo can on steroids, and I can put uh, I can put a hundred rounds of shot 12 gauge, two and a half inch shells. I can put a hundred rounds of those in the box of, like you get at Walmart. Uh, uh, bird shot. I've used, and I usually empty one of those out and put it full of buckshot. The five round things I pack as many of them as I can get. Uh, I usually carry that. I usually carry a thousand rounds of seven six two by thirty nine, thousand rounds of five five six, and a couple of, couple of three thousand rounds of uh, twenty two, 
I got a little uh, a uh, and it's in that it's in well it's in the upper over there right over there. It'll convert a five five six to a twenty two long rifle. Uh, real handy, you know. You can you can hunt with that, or you know, if you run out five five six, you can pop in that. You got three mags for it. Carries twenty three to a mag. Uh, what else I got? Knives. I got. Don't even get me started about knives. I got machete. Got a camp axe. Uh, what else? I got a brush hook. And in tornado season, which is pretty much year round, it's not in there right now because this is one of those blow times of you know winter is not a big tornado month or season. But come up March, it'll start back again. Uh, I usually carry a chainsaw and a can of gas. For you know, uh, Mississippi is a pine forest with people living amongst it. Uh, and the you know Gulf states, Warehouser, all them people, they got acres and hundreds and thousands of acres of nothing but pine trees and they're all over the place uh and sometimes you know tornadoes blow down the tree you have to get home and you have to you know you have to cut it out of the way uh and you know there's bunches of us we'll just gang up i mean you get out and you start heading one way and if there's a tree cross over somebody's either there or, and you're cutting it or you get there and you cut it and pretty soon somebody comes behind you they got a chainsaw it's that's the way we work down here. Uh, we don't wait on the government. We do it ourselves. Wish everybody would like that. Uh, but that's it. Y'all, if I give you any ideas, I'm happy. If you'd like it, give me a like below. Uh, I ain't gonna ask for no money. I do this for fun. I don't, and I got, I don't need to ask for money. Uh, I wouldn't, because I may have to stop doing these tomorrow we had to do 400 slider hamburgers yesterday for uh, Saturday on the second for a father-daughter dance at the school sometimes I ain't gonna have time uh, and that's along with our regular stuff we do every day uh, but uh, you know I love it I'm there with my wife and kids we have a ball every day <laughs> at least I do <laughs> Uh, and y'all take care of yourself. God love you and so on. Bye.